Lou Depot back here, and just a quick little lesson. Whenever you're going to do a heat pump or run a thermostat wire to a heat pump, although you'll run one wire, you'll want to make sure it's seven conductor. And what that simply means is there's seven different coded color wires in one wire. And this is them. Blue, white, red, green, yellow, and orange. And for a heat, a regular thermostat, if you took the first class, you know there's red and white, green and yellow. Red and white being for heat, the green and yellow being for the air conditioning. But there's another facet involved here. Now, when you have a heat pump, there is one more wire that has to be ran, and that's why I suggest seven wire, because there's a changeover wire. And the changeover wire is orange, and simply what that does is it causes the central air conditioning heat pump to run in reverse. It's called the reversing valve, it's caused, caused, called the changeover, but what it simply does is switches the air conditioning to heating. And that's the orange wire in the seven conductor wire. Of course, um, the red wire is always the same, 24 volt red, that's the R terminal. Now don't forget, once you have a heat pump and air conditioner, you go into the Y or the yellow. The yellow wire is, is going to be your cooling. The changeover wire for heat is going to be your orange wire now, putting the cooling or the Freon in reverse. So that's going to be your heating colors. So now the white wire is left open and that's free. So that can now be used for your auxiliary heat. Again, we spoke about heat pumps if you didn't take that lesson. Heat pumps work, but once you get under 20 degrees, 10 degrees, if you live up north, you need auxiliary heat for it to actually warm the house up to 70 degrees because it has a very tough time doing that with 10 degree air outside. So you have that white wire extra, now you use that as your auxiliary, probably your electric baseboard. The fan, the green wire remains for the fan. The compressor, Y or Y1, is for the cooling. And now that orange changeover, or CO, depending on the system you have, reverses the Freon and now gives you heat. There's also one more facet to this. And that's if you have a two-stage compressor. You'll have Y1 and Y2 for the second stage. And that's simply nothing more. There is one more wire in here, a blue wire, which you would use for Y2. And that's simply... Uh, a two-stage heat pump or a two-stage compressor is nothing more than a money-saving compressor. Basically what it does is it always runs in stage one. If it needs that extra muscle where it really needs to go, if it's real, real cold out, it'll kick in to stage two and the compressor will kick into a second speed where it really works hard and uses up some electricity if it's necessary. A lot of these two-stage compressors are very efficient because they run in a very easy, simple stage one when they don't use all that muscle, where a regular one-stage compressor uses all its muscle all the time. A two-stage compressor uses a little bit of muscle. If it's necessary, it kicks in a secondary stage, and that's the blue wire. That's why you need the seven-conductor wire.